Hey BFFs, in this tutorial I'm going to show you the difference between the regular Make theme and all the options you get when you install Make Plus. Um, the reason that I'm making this tutorial is because so many of you guys ask questions in the Facebook group about little different things that you want to do and you ask, oh is that Make, is that Make Plus, how do I do XYZ? And a lot of times I share with you that, um, oh, if you had Make Plus, you could have that extra functionality. So I just wanted to make this video to A, show you the difference between Make and Make Plus, um, B, show you just some extra things that you can do with the Make theme and Make Plus that um, we didn't cover in the five day website challenge because I didn't want to overwhelm you with all the different options. Um, and three, I want to show you how to make your own um, landing page or squeeze page using um, Make Plus and the Bloom plugin so that you can um, create your own squeeze pages with, uh, with the functionality that you already have with your WordPress theme. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to show you the Make website and we'll come over here to pricing for Make Plus and it just kind of shows you some of the differences that, that come with it. So you have additional builder sections, full e-commerce support, complete style control, expert support video guides, and advanced layout options. So the big things that we care about are these advanced layout options complete style control, full e-commerce support, and these additional builder sections. And I'll show you what those are here in just a second. So I'm gonna pop over to my five day website, challenge website, and right now I have Make Plus installed, but it's not activated. So I wanna show you the difference um, between our options here. So I'm gonna go to this is the main five day website challenge um, site that I built in the, in the tutorial. And so I'm gonna click here on edit page. And the first thing that I'm gonna point out to you is that there's a big gap in between my banner section and my next banner section, right? So the reason, and please ignore all this other stuff, I use this site for some of my other tutorials. Um, but the reason that that's there is because there's an option in Make Plus that's not available in Make called Remove Space Below Section. And I'm actually going to show you that on my regular website where I have um, Make Plus installed. So no Make Plus installed on this site. I'm gonna edit this page and I'm gonna show you these different options that you get um, between Make and Make Plus. So this is no make plus, right? So check out the additional options I have um, in my section configuration. First, if we scroll all the way down, you'll see that the last thing option that I have here is the background color. If I toggle over to a site where I have make plus installed, and click on that little gear icon, I now have all these other um, options, which are super technical and you probably will never use them, but the one that you will love when you get Make Plus is this Remove Space Below section. So that would actually get rid of the space that we're seeing in between the colored sections, the end of one banner and the start of the next section that we put a background color in. So that's one big, huge, ginormous benefit of Make Plus is that it um, lets you have more control over your spacing um, between all your banner sections, your builder sections, excuse me. The next, um, the next thing that you get with Make Plus are more, um, more page builder sections. So in regular Make, we have columns, banners, and a gallery. But in Make Plus, let me come over here, we also get panels and a post list. Now, panels I have used on another site. I'm not super thrilled with them. It just gives you tabs across your page. I don't think that that's such a big deal. But the post list, that is a really cool thing. So if I wanted to add my blog posts to any page on my site, 
I can add this post list builder part. So um, I think the example I last saw in the Facebook group is, is one of our BFFs had a website where they wanted a page that list just their recipes and another page that listed just their fitness stuff. And they were using blog posts, um, excuse me, posts for that. And they just wanted the ones that they categorize as recipes to show up in one place and the ones that they categorize as fitness to show up in the other. That's exactly what you can do with this post list. So um, actually I'm gonna make a new page on my current website and show you exactly how that works. So say for instance, I wanted to create a page just called motivation because I have a lot of articles in here that aren't maybe tutorial specific, but they have uh, a lot of you know different ways to stay focused and stay consistent and different things like that. I add the post list um, page builder part to my page and I can even have it just display posts or pages. I'm gonna keep it at posts. I'm gonna select my category. So I'm gonna select motivation as my category. Um, how many do I wanna show? I wanna show all of my posts um, that are uh, categorized as motivation. Do I wanna show my featured image? Um, what size do I want that featured image to be? I'll have it be portrait. Do I wanna show an excerpt? How long do I want that excerpt to be? 200 characters. How many columns do I want? So I could have two columns, and I'll show you what that looks like, or I could have one all the way up to four. Show title, show date, and we'll show the comment count. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. And so let's um, see, I'm gonna publish this page, and let's see what it looks like. So this page is going to just show my blog posts in two columns and I must have a banner sec. Oh, I don't have featured images there. That's why it's showing up blank. Um, but it's showing my posts in columns that are all tagged by motivation. It's showing um, 200 characters, probably 200 words of each post. And so you can see that you could lay out a page like that with that post list really cool um, how you can do that so when you know you've got I've got um, a few of you that are saying how can I make a gallery that's showing my YouTube videos well you add your YouTube videos as posts you put the thumbnail as a featured as your featured image the thumbnail of your YouTube video is your featured image you can have um, four columns of them. I'm actually going to remove my featured image because um, I don't have one. Actually, let me change it to landscape and I'll leave it. I'll leave it showing at the top and I want my excerpt to be 30 words. If you want a gallery of just your um, videos, then that's what you can do. And so when I click on this picture, it's gonna go into the actual blog post. So if you have a video embedded on your website in a blog post, it's gonna go right into there. So you would adjust your text size to make that look a little bit better and your, of course, your images, um, you would want to design to fit that space, but that's what you can do with that post list um, builder part. Um, another thing that people always say is I want to, and I don't recommend doing this, but a lot of people do it. So um, people say, I want to um, put my blog posts on my front page. So with Make Plus, I could um, add a post list to my homepage and display my blog posts there, and maybe in a single column on, on that page. So that's something else that you could do. I'm not going to save that and show that to you because I don't want to edit my actual live homepage. So that's something that you can do with Make Plus. Another thing that you can do is check out this 
little message, upgrade to make plus and convert any column into an area for widgets. Well, what does that mean? Let me show you. We'll go back to my um, motivation page that I created and I'll remove the post list part. Let's edit that. I'm just gonna delete this and I'm gonna add a column section. So I, in case you didn't know that you could do this, you can change the number of columns. Like say I want two columns, but maybe I want one column to be wider than the other. If you see when I, I put my mouse in a certain place, it changes shape. It's like a plus sign with two arrows. I can now um, drag the size. Oops, there we go. So I just made this column wider and that column skinnier, and I think I can even go a little bit farther. So this is now could become a sidebar, right? So I could have um, I could have some content in this section, and then I could convert this into a sidebar where I can put widgets. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. So let me update this so that it's saved. And check this little icon out. I don't have that icon when I don't have make plus, right? It's not there, but it's there with make plus. Oops. And what that allows me to do is I'm gonna change this to a section that I can add widgets to. So I'm gonna call this homepage sidebar or page sidebar, whatever. And then I'm gonna save it. It says no widgets added yet to add widgets, save this page and then go to the customizer. So what's customizer? That's appearance customize. Every time I say go to appearance customize, that's the customizer. So I just clicked on that link and that's gonna take me into appearance customize. And I have this option down here called sidebars and widgets. So I click on that and now you can see that I have this page sidebar option. If I would have named it Shannon, it would, have, it would say Shannon right here. So I click on that and then I click on add widget and I have all these different widgets that I can add. I can add a post list because that um, is also an option in Make Plus. So I can add my latest motivational posts and if I want to show three of them, of course, clearly I would definitely need update the size of that text. So, but you can see that that's gonna add, I'm gonna actually delete that because it's way too big. Um, I can add images. So for those of you that were talking about, I want to have um, a sidebar on my page that lists all my latest videos. Well, the way I would do that is to create a thumbnail for my video and then I would Upload it here, use the image widget, that's going to look horrible, but just so you know, and then link to my YouTube page or to that video on YouTube. So that's how you could create um, just a list of your YouTube videos. Now you'd have to manually do that every time, so that might not be the best way to do that. Um, but that's how you can add stuff to a sidebar just on one specific page. So it's not like my blog page where anything I put in the sidebar is going to show on every page and every post. This lets you create custom widget areas. So um, another way that I use this, and I'll show you this on my courses site, I use that exact same functionality um, on my courses site in the five day challenge uh, to put my menu over here. This is, I'll show you this. I'm going to edit the page. I have this two column section turned into a widget area and I have um, a custom menu set up over there. So it lets you format your pages a little bit differently. You can add all kinds of functionality to a single page with um, with Make Plus. 
Now, just so you know the column sizing thing that I did, the dragging it um, back and forth, that you can do um, with Make or Make Plus. That's just functionality of Make. And I can also flip-flop these. I can click and drag them. So that's something that you don't need Make Plus to do that. So that's another thing with Make Plus. And then um, if I had WooCommerce installed, um, actually I'll show you that on this website. So right now I have WooCommerce installed, which is an e-commerce plugin that is super popular. Um, if I had, I'm gonna go to my plugins and then I'm gonna activate Make Plus on this site so you can see what I'm talking about. Make Plus is a plugin, so it's not another theme. All it does is add, once you activate it, it adds extra functionality to your site. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate Make Plus on this site. And then you'll see because I have WooCommerce installed, when I go back to my pages, I have an extra page builder part um, that allows me to add my products to my website. So let's just go to any page. I'll edit this thank you page. And I actually teach this. See, now I have this products um, gallery that's added. That's not gonna show up unless I have WooCommerce installed, but I um, show you exactly how to configure all of that in my um, how to sell your stuff online course that I just emailed you guys about today. And it's also available. Let me pop over to my courses site. It's also available um, from the pa same page where you log into the five-day website challenge if you want to learn more about that course, how to sell your stuff online right there. So those are the big things. Just to recap, the big things are you get to remove the space between your sections. You have this extra post list banner part, which is super awesome. You can convert any column into a widget area. Um, because you get this little extra added um, convert to widget area option. And then the other super, super cool thing, let me deactivate it so you can see the difference here, um, is that you can hide your site header and footer on every single page. So right now, I'm on this thank you page, um, and I have these options to hide the site header, hide the site footer, remove the padding, hide the title, all the stuff on this specific page um, only, which is really cool. So let me um, uninstall Make Plus on this test website so I can show you the differences between the two. And then we'll create a, uh, a landing page. Deactivate Make Plus. Okay, cool. So if I just um, add a new page, I'm gonna add a new page on both sites. And then I'm gonna actually close that tab. So on my um, five day website challenge demo site, you can see that Layout settings completely blank. Looking to configure a unique layout for this page? Upgrade to Make Plus. On the page that I have Make Plus installed, I have all these options that I just showed you, right? So I'm gonna call this my squeeze page. And um, I actually have a whole um, article that I wrote a while ago, I'll try to dig it up for you guys about what a squeeze page is, um, how it fits into your marketing sequence, um, when to use it, uh, when I when to not use it, and why you should test it out. So I'll dig that out for you guys um, and or post the link to, on my blog in the Facebook group. It's been a while since I wrote it. Um, but basically a squeeze page has no navigation on it, no options for the user other than to opt in or to leave. So a squeeze, squeeze page, excuse me, does not have, I'm gonna save the draft of that so we can look at it. A 
So a squeeze page would not have any of this. It wouldn't have my logo. It wouldn't have my um, branding on it. And it, pro and it might have terms of use and a privacy policy because legally you might need that. Or not legally, just like Facebook's um, policies require you to, you know, have those things on it. So um, what we can do is hide our site header and I'm gonna I have to check it to activate it and then check it to make it actually hide and it's only gonna do it on this page it's not gonna do it on my whole site um, and then I'll just check the box to remove the padding beneath the header above the footer and then I want to make sure that the page title is hidden and then these are all set to none so that's okay so I'm gonna publish this page and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like So all that's showing is my footer. If you go back to my um, homepage on the site that has Make Plus, my homepage, my header, my nav is all still there, but on my squeeze page, I was able to control that. So that's a really cool feature of Make Plus. When you spend the $99 to upgrade, you can create as many you know, landing pages as you need, as long as you have a plugin like Bloom that allows you to embed an opt-in on that page. And I'm going to show you that right now. So another cool thing that you might not know that you could do with Make or Make Plus is to add a background image to your site or to a, to a section, to a section of columns. So I'm going to actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this two columns. I'm going to make this one a little bit wider than the other one. I'm going to click on the gear icon in the black area and I'm going to select background image. And I'm going to pick, oh gosh, it's going to take me forever to find one. I've got so many images in here. Okay, this is the perfect one. I, this is the one I'm using on my um, courses website. So I select that background image and update the page. And it's probably going to be a little squished because I don't have any actual content in there yet, but we'll see what it looks like um, before I put some content in there. Yep, you're not seeing the background image just yet, so let's add some content to this section. Oops. I shouldn't have hit the back button. I should have edited the page. There we go. So say that I want to have the details of my offer here. So I'm gonna just say, oh, let me just grab something off my courses site. That'll be easier. Grab that text. I'm gonna paste it here. Your website can help you do more to grow your business than you'd ever imagine. And I'm going to put that there. And I'm probably going to make it white just so we'll be able to see it on that background that I, um, that I chose. So we'll, we'll see. And then I'm going to update that and we'll see what it looks like. Let's view the page. So now you can see my background image is there, but it's kind of squished or it's like way stretched out. You can see super stretched out, but you can see that um, I have that text there. So we'll just make a few little tweaks and we need to remove the space above our, our footer as well. Or we'll probably want to hide our site footer. Eh, I'll deal with that in a second. So we want to go back to our background image and our background style, we want to change that to cover. And that's going to make it so we see the whole entire image um, within the section of text. So you want to use um, 
a really good quality image, like a high resolution image, because it's going to be large on your site. So I need to move some things around clearly um, because I don't want that over my face because that's just kind of weird. So I can do a couple different things. I can um, add empty column section above that and just put some random spaces. No, I won't do it that way. We'll think of a different way to do that. Let's uh, flip flop these and see if that gets us anywhere better. I'm gonna just refresh this one. Whoops, nope, that's actually worse. So, you can see that this image has me right in the middle. So I'm trying to figure out, I probably should put this text, I just cut, cut it into this skinny section over here. And you'll have to play around with this. I don't wanna to spend too much time um, perfecting this, but I would just wanna show you kinda of how you go through some of the different steps to figure out um, how you might wanna lay things out. So there we go. So. Um, now we have some text and my picture over here. I think if I do three columns, I can get this exactly how I want it. So in the left column, I've got some text. The middle is me in the background. And then on this side, I'm going to add a bloom opt-in. Um, so I'm going to add this one. It's going to look weird because it's formatted to be long on my um, homepage but um, I'm just going to put that in anyway and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks horrible here. I should probably use, um, I should probably, instead of that, I will convert this to a widget area. I'm just, it's just a reference for me to know. It, the, the name really does not matter. It's just a reference for you to know um, what page these widgets are displaying on. I'm gonna click on the customizer. And I would have already gone into Bloom like I show you in day uh, three, I think, of the five-day website challenge and created my custom um, opt-in. So now I'm going to click on sidebars and widgets, squeeze page, add a widget, and where's Bloom? Oh, it's alphabetical order. Sidebar, and I'm going to get rid of the title. Let's see what that looks like. So, of course, we have some work to do here. I don't like the way that looks. It's way too close to the top. I would actually add another widget, um, just a text widget. That's I don't know. I'm trying to drag that and put nothing in it and reorder it because that's going to give me a little more space at the top. See how that added space there? So if I wanted to move this down a little bit, I could just keep adding text parts until I got where I wanted to be. Of course. If I were you, I would design a better looking sidebar widget. Um, so we'll save and publish that. And you could also even um, add another text widget if you needed to um, put something else beneath it. So here's some more text. And excuse me. Sometimes I forget when I'm writing CSS versus HTML, um, and I lose my mind.
So that is the um, HTML that you would need to actually change your font color if you want it to contrast on your background. Um, font color size equals, and that's to make it bigger. You can see it's spinning and watch over here when it's done, it's going to increase in size. And see there, it got bigger. So those are some things that you can do to make your own squeeze page. Now the last thing I need to figure out is why is there still a big fat gap? Oh, I know exactly why there's still a big fat gap there. Because we removed the space above the footer, but we did not remove the space below the section um, on this page. So we want to go into the banner, uh, this, I'm sorry, not the banner, the section options, scroll all the way down to the bottom, remove space below section, update the page, and I'll come back over to our page here and refresh it. And this space will go away, my new sidebar will show up, and there's some more text. So that's how you can create a squeeze page using Make Plus and Bloom. So how you would lay that out depends on your specific, the layout of your specific image, right? Um, if your image had you all the way over to the right, um, you would put, rearrange your columns and do things a little bit differently. Um, so you can be creative and just try a bunch of different things. And I also wanna try one more thing. I think that this, Spacing is way too close to the top. So I'm actually going to put the space beneath the header back. I'm gonna uncheck to remove it and update that and see um, if that gives me a bump of space at the top of the page. Cause you never want your text too close to the edge of anything. It didn't seem to work. I need to refresh that again. I don't know if my page um, was refreshed. Still not liking that. Here's what I would do. Um, I would actually just go in here and this and NBSP uh, semicolon, that's HTML code for a non-breaking space. So it's a blank space. I would just put it up there at the top to trick, it's not really a trick, but um, to force everything down one line. Because if you just tried to put a space, like a, a hard return there, WordPress would think that you were making a mistake and it would just get rid of it. It thinks it's so smart sometimes. So there you go. That's how you can create a squeeze page with um, Make Plus and Bloom or whatever opt-in that you're using that actually allows you to create a um, inline opt-in or a widget opt-in. And that's how you do it. So um, there was something else I wanted to show you about Make Plus, And I don't even know if I want to show it to you because I feel like it's going to be, um, it's going to be, I read that it's not going to be available in the next version of Make. So, but I haven't installed the latest beta version that's available to me as a developer license holder. So I'm gonna show this to you, but don't be disappointed if it actually goes away. How's that? And actually this will, regardless of whether or not it goes away, this can give you some cool ideas for maybe how you wanna lay out some of your pages. So because I have Make Plus installed, when I add a new page, I get this quick start option that says import content into this page. To begin, select a category. So, we have about business, landing, creative, and photography. All different page layouts that Make has pre-created for us. So I'm actually just gonna show you all of these. And you can see some different creative layouts um, that Make has. So I'm just gonna hold down my control key and click add new, add new, add new, add new, add new. And that's gonna open up a bunch of tabs um, all to the add new page. And for this one, I'm gonna click about. This one, I'm gonna select business. This one, I'm gonna do landing. Creative. And photography. And I don't need that one. 
So with Make Plus, I'm going to wait on these. I kind of Okay, so now you can see that I have all this content. I have this one column section that's been named and they gave me a placeholder for an image with the exact pixel size that this should be. And then a two column section, that's how big the picture that you would put here would go and you don't put any text there. So let's see what this looks like on the front end. Um, we'll just click the preview button over here. And so you can actually do these yourself. You don't have to do, you don't have to have um, the, the import thing. You could add a single column and add an image to it, put some text below it, add a two column section, put an image on one side, text on the other, swap it um, the other way, one column down and keep flip flopping it back and forth. Um, the meet our team section, so that's one. Uh, let me see this one we'll preview this one this one's a little bit different this one has some banners that rotate which you can also do you can add multiple banners in a section and it'll actually rotate for you and then there's some text on those and you can see a three column section each with an image above or um, there's the button that people were asking us about in the group today so you can see that there's a ton of different ways that you can lay out your site with Make. And you don't need Make Plus to do this. And like I said, I think it's going away actually. Um, but this is just to give you some ideas of what you can do. Let me preview this one. I don't remember which one, if it was landing or creative or whatever. Um, so, and the reason I don't show you this in the five day website challenge is really because you would get so overwhelmed with, this is a gallery, by the way, you get so overwhelmed with all these different options. And unless you're super experienced, you could really make something look too, way too busy and not great. So I give you the perfect homepage layout and, and the other layouts, but something like this, um, that would look great on an about page if you had some really good images. So just keep that in mind. You know, you really do want to keep it simple, but this is such a powerful theme and that's why I recommend it and I use it in all my done for you packages because you can really do a ton of stuff. And then let's just preview the last one really quick. Um, oh, preview. There we go. And so... I'm not an affiliate for Make Plus. I make a zero dollars off of, of any time anybody upgrades to that plugin. I am affiliate for affiliate for other products like Bluehost and Bloom and um, all the One Woman Shop stuff and uh, a few other products that I use and I love and I get a ton of value out of and I know that you guys will too. But I'm not an affiliate for Make. Um, they don't have an affiliate program. I could choose a different theme like Divi or um, Genesis or all the ones that you see everybody else recommending because they have lucrative affiliate programs, which is great. I am not against affiliate programs at all. Uh, that's how I can keep the five-day website challenge free. Um, but when there's a plugin that is good and it's the best one out there and I think that it's really really is top-notch. I don't really care if they have an affiliate program. I'm going to recommend them anyway. So that's the last um, layout that they show. So I um, suggest go over to Make's website. Um, this is actually clearly Make's website is in Make. So there's a giant banner section with a background and a button and um, you know all kinds of cool stuff. I'm going to have my logo on here someday. <laughs> Um, but you can see how they've put together their different sections. So you can do a ton of stuff, but go to the showcase. And I think I'm on here too, but you can look at how people have laid out their sites. It's really cool. You can get a lot of different ideas. Um, there's my site. I think that's so awesome. And that was back when I only had a thousand people going through the challenge, but so many cool ways to lay out your site. So 
If you have been struggling with those spaces below your section, if you want some more creative ideas, Spring for Make Plus, it's an awesome plugin. It'll allow you to do lots of great things. Come over here to the thethemefoundry.com forward slash I use make and look at all the different uh, things that people are designing with this theme. It's really, really amazing and you can do some really cool stuff with it. So if you have any questions, um, I'm going to post this video in the Facebook group. Um, I'll probably not keep it up indefinitely, but we'll see. Um, it might end up being bonus content somewhere else. I don't know. But um, if you have any questions, just uh, tag me in the Facebook group. Um, I'm in there once or twice a day. I don't. For those of you that don't know, I still do work a day job, so I try not to have my nose in my phone or on my computer on Facebook all day. Otherwise, uh, I'll be going full time with BFF faster than I intended to. Um, but yeah, just tag me on Facebook. I'll answer your questions. And I hope you have an awesome time building out some creative pages with Make and Make Plus.